at the end of our life, we will be separated. Hello, from everybody. All it's Dave Keys here, but and I thought I would contribute by uh, demonstrating on screen if just how to add one of those sidebar videos. And this is true whether or not you are. It's a really pretty easy. Person. You it's just want the same embed life. code that you'd use for a regular well, size video, and, and YouTube gives you the options to select a smaller video to fit into your sidebar. So let's start by presuming and so that you've got a video uploaded. And we will use a video here in my example and a website. So let's go over to a website and we'll pick this one here and go into the admin panel. And the first thing we'll do is go to the sidebar, which is going to be, in most themes, in widgets. Alright, so under Appearance, you have Themes, Widgets, Menus, and Editor, so we'll use Widgets. And the widgets we have will show up here on the right. And I'm going to create a new text widget and insert it somewhere in the sidebar by dragging text over to the sidebar. Now you can leave a title blank or you can put a title in. And so we'll put in title. And here is where the code is going to go for the video. So let's go get some code. We'll go to YouTube. And go to one of your videos and go to the video playing page that we started out at. And then you're going to click the share button. And just a little bit down you see a button that says embed. So choose the embed button and it will display standard sized code for embedding into a website. What we want is a custom code. Now if you look at your computer screen. Your computer screen is anywhere from uh, 1080 pixels to maybe 1280. So 1040 I mean to 1280. So around that range. About a thousand roughly. And so if you look at a, a typical website, um, especially a blog, we've got a sidebar. You can see that the sidebar it runs at about 20 percent of the overall page width. And here my sidebar is about 20 percent. And so that's going to represent probably more than 200 pixels, um, maybe less than 300. So you can just try a size that looks like it fits. If you're on a Mac, you can use the co copy uh, screen uh, control to look at the number, although it's hard to see. I got about 204 pixels here in my width. So we'll go back over to the video. And we're going to say that we want a width of, let's say, 200. I'm going to try 240 pixels. And it will automatically assign the other number. So maybe I'll even go a little bit wider and say 260. Now, as you type, the code is automatically updated. So you see the width is now 260 in my code. So I'm going to copy this code. And go back over to my my new widget and paste that code in here and save it. Once that's saved, I can look at my website and see how it looks. And there's my video situated nicely inside of the widget space. I could make it maybe 10 pixels wider if I wanted to. But that looks pretty good right there. And that's all there is to it. And all the functionality of the YouTube video is right there. And that concludes this video segment. Thanks for watching.